G'day people, in this video today I'm going to go through uh, on a G5 RV what a Yaesu FTDX10 or your 710 or even the ICOM 7300 will tune with the internal tuner because they are a smaller rig. A lot of people get caught out when they get started in this hobby because if you go to any website where they sell a G5 RV the claim is they'll do from 80 through to 10 which is rubbish. You'll need a big antenna tuner, external antenna tuner to do that. So I'm going to go through the bands and show you what it'll give you and talk about uh, one band in particular that uh, it will not tune up on. Uh, so it will give you all of the 80 meter band or three megahertz if you're starting out, tune up there. Give you all of the 40 meter band, seven megahertz. Works quite well here in Australia. Haven't had a chance to work anywhere uh, overseas yet. Wrong time of day when I'm here. Uh, it'll work on the 20 meter band, obviously. It's designed for that. Uh, it works extremely well here on the 20 metre band and you can clearly see all the signals. So you can see that it works quite well and I always get good signal reports from it. And you'll get the, uh, sorry, the 12 metre band. Where is it? There. 12 meters, that's it. So they're all the bands that your internal ten antenna tuner is going to give you. Now, outside of that, you will need an external antenna tuner, unless you've got a bigger rig like the Kenwood TS2000, 890, 590, or the Alacraft K3. They have a bigger tuner, and they will give you uh, the 15 meter band without the need for an external antenna tuner. Now, the band I was going to talk about was a 10 meter band. It does not tune up here at all. But obviously a wet piece of string will work when the band's really open. But to give you an idea why it doesn't tune here, I have an N-fed antenna for 80 through to 10. And off the end of the antenna, which is end on to the USA, I can hear US stations talking. And the G5RV can hear nothing. So it'll give you a good idea why it does not tune up here, because it does not resonate well. And the SWR is through the roof. So it's a poor performer on 10, even if you have an external antenna tuner. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're starting out before you go buying antennas.